Sorry, Miss Porter, I only have short time. Maggie Smuttles, can I help you? I must catch the 11 hours 48 train to London. Don't you worry about a thing. Well, if you want a model, you've rung the right number, haven't you? Would you like a coffee, Mr. Toddler? Your English coffee? I'm not sure of your English coffee. Oh, go on, it won't kill you. One never knows. <laughs> Mr. Seward, call me Len, yes. Will you have some girls for me? Oh, I think we might manage one or two. As long as you're not fussy. No. This is Lucy. Hi. She's just dying to meet you. Yeah. Well, if you'd like to come through to the studio... Well, we do all sorts, Len. Fashion, promotion work, photography, character and children. Ah, it seems a black girl is an interesting possibility. Joanne. Joanne is a knockout. When you see Joanne, you'll tear up your ticket lunch and swoon. <laughs> oh, give me strength. Jody, get in the pushchair. Well, then it really depends on what you want to for, doesn't it? The works calendar. Yes, I see. Lovely. Joanne hasn't turned up. You go in next. Oh, well, if you're short of anyone. What? Well, if you need somebody to fill in. They've all got nice legs, Len. At least most of them have. I want something dangerous. I want something threatening. Give me Rambo. Oh, my God. Any Rambo. Oh, sweetie. One more try. Be butch. Make me think you're really gonna damage somebody with that drill. Frighten me! Cut the rain. You are joking. Tell me you are joking. I told you, Reg. I told you I want something kinky. Cut the rain! You told me this was a fish cake promotion. What have fish cakes got to do with sadomasochism? Why does that 12-year-old keep hanging around here? Yeah. Oh, you're only being nasty because you're only 25, Susan. She's nice. She's got no father. And a mother who works in a shoe factory and, and two brothers and a sister called Sharon and she lives in a high-rise block. Oh, her, Amanda. Mm, how many calories are there in an egg? What size of an egg? Size three. Um, 80, unless you fry it. Are they? I thought it was 60. <laughs> ah, that's 20 calories. Half a grapefruit. Would you want half a grapefruit? Oh, yes. Have you got one? No. Sorry. They're all nice girls, Mr. Seward. We don't have any old boilers on our books. All right, Lucy Lowe. Yeah. Well, different models have different fees. Hello. Hello. Yes, you can negotiate. You here for a casting? Sort of. You can't negotiate that much. Amanda, sweetheart chicken, can you buzz off? Come back about five o'clock, and if there's anything for you, I'll tell you then. No. No. My God. Your agency is new. I took it over six months ago. It's an uphill struggle. She's brave. She's come. She's brave. She's go. Ah, Susan. Come and meet Mr. Tobler. This is Susan Brown, Mr. Tobler. Hello. Vogue L. Harper's. Mm -hmm. Mr. Tobler's from Germany. Really? Susan speaks German quite fluently. Oh, good morning, Herr Tobler. Wie geht's Sie? Oh, it's very well, thank you. Oh. <laughs> yes, well, Susan, perhaps you'd like to show Mr. Tobler your portfolio. Uh, uh, very good. Very good. No, we haven't anything for under 40 quid. Not even a Barbie doll. The 
thing is, before a housewife will buy the fish cakes, she'd like to think the man she's cooked them for will slap her around a bit. What for? The times change, Reg. Look. Look at Mike Silver. He's a teenager. He's got what they want. You've got to be rough. You've got to be hungry. You've got to be macho. I am macho. Don't make me laugh. Woofters are out, sunshine. Call me a woofter. Well, nothing against you lot myself. It's not what the punters want. I am an actor model. I can play it as straight as you want and as macho. Oh, sorry, sweetie. Oh, look, there's your Uncle Reg. Go and show him where you cut your knee and ask him to kiss it better. This is a photo session, if you don't mind, Joanne. Oops. Sorry, uh, I thought it was one of your friends. Come on, Jenny. When Rambo cuts himself, nobody kisses it better. Sorry, Reg. Well, the girl we are looking for will be very fortunate. She will be das hübsche Zitronenfräulein. Beautiful lemon girl. Oh, that is good. Yes, I and like we'll that. have two weeks in the Atlas Mountains for photography. <gasps> the beautiful lemon girl would drink the new lemon drink in the heat of the Atlas Mountains. Oh, that's very good. And we'll have Rudy Muller for the pictures. You know Muller? Oh, yes. <gasps> well, I'm making a station in five minutes, yeah? Oh, easily. And we'll have Bedouin and perhaps an oasis and who knows, maybe even a, a Schlangenbeschwerer. A, a, a snake charm. Oh, of course. <laughs> You do wear topless and nude, and eh? For lemonade? Oh, absolutely. So, then Mr. Lewis phoned and said that it was a uh, Celtic spring show in Balmoral and that I did bagpipes and hairy knees. Well, I expect he was teasing about the knees, but I mean, I've never worn bagpipes in shows. Do you know what that man called me? They think they can come here and insult people. They think we don't have feelings. Oh, what did he call you? A woofter. That's nothing to be ashamed of, Reg. You hold your head high. I'm as straight as the next man, Joanne. Right. Will you look after Jody for me? Yes. Wish me luck. Good luck. Good luck, sweetie. I must say, I always thought you were a woofter, Reg. Don't you ever listen? I was engaged for many years to a very wonderful girl. Haven't I ever told you about her? Yes, Reg. She was called Patricia. We planned to marry, but her parents were set against the match. Stuck between a rock and a hard place, that's me. Precious clients and ungrateful models. I'm surprised he didn't book you, quite frankly, with your attitude. If he wants me, he'll come back, and if he doesn't, then he won't. Oh, of course he won't be back. And don't like clever women, and you're too clever by heart. I only said hello in German. It was the way you said it. And just where do you think you've been? He hasn't gone. Oh, he couldn't hang around all day in the off chance that you might come back. You did take your card, Jo. Where were you? Jody cut her knee. Beryl's been taken in, and I tried and tried to get a hold of my mother. That's the best job that's come in in months. I need that job. I really need that job. Pop socks! I've told you about the pop socks, Joanne. I don't want to see any of my girls wearing pop socks unless they're asked to model them. Mm -hmm. Rudy Muller. If I have told you once, I have told you a thousand times that clients want to see attractive girls with pleasant personalities nicely turned out. And the girl who's wearing pop socks just hasn't tried, has she? No, so I says to him, herpes, don't make me laugh. Why didn't you tell me Herr Hitler had gone? Look, I've gone back. I've got Eva Braun here looking for her boyfriend. Ta-da, love. You might have told me, Polly. You knew it was a ten o'clock casting the same as all the other girls. If you want to turn up late with little bits of Rusko down your front, that's Listen, your choice, isn't face. it? Why don't you Come just go and take a running <laughs> Maggie's models, can I help? Hello again, Mr. Seward. Yes, we are all an hour older, wiser, and more wrinkled, Mr. Seward. But we still don't have any models for under 40 quid. Oh, aren't you the Earl of Litchfield? Aren't you really? Oh, I thought you were, see. I'm a pro. I've worked for them all in my time. Woman's Own, Exchange and Mart. I was at the casting for Yorkie Bar. I was within an ace of getting that job, and do you know what they told me? It's the chocolate that's macho, Reg. You're upstaging the chocolate you're so macho. Well, I wouldn't do his perverted fish cake promotion if he came and begged me on his hands and knees. Didn't you get the job, then? <sighs> Hello, sweetie. Have you been a good girl? She's always a little angel when I look after her. <laughs> Is Maggie free now? Because I'm going to give her a really hard time. I'm going to give her a really, really hard time, Jodie. Oh, 
Shall I go and teach you how to use the catwalk? Thanks, Lee. Can't start too young, that's what I've always been told. Mm. Oh, cheer up, Joe. Yeah. Might always be for the best. You know, that Rudy Muller's an awful lot more Rudy than he need to be. I'm skinned. <sighs> Where the baby minder wasn't ill, she didn't turn up because she hadn't been paid. Look, I can lend you some money if you're short. No way. Oh, come on. Look, if I can't find the rent, I can lie, cheat and smile and I don't care. If they take the telly away, I don't care. If the only bubble bath I've got is the one that Mervyn Pickle Burger bought me for Christmas, I still don't care. Oh, God, Joe, it's not that bad. It is. But I can't borrow money from you soon. Come on. No. Joe! No! Joe. Oh, no! Come on. Look, never borrow money from your friends. That's the one rule that everyone in this game has to believe in. It's the only rule you mustn't break. It's the only rule that really matters. Oh, pleasure for Maggie's models to be able to help you, Mr. Seward. Now, your model will be with you at about 2 p.m. She will have our card of introduction in the form of agreement between ourselves and yourselves, which perhaps you would be good enough to sign and give back to your model at the end of the session. It would be appreciated if you had some form of heating in view of the type of photography, but don't worry us. Yes, I do know the cost of electricity. Now, your model's name is Jo Ann, one of our very top models, and of course she appreciates that this is a very important job. Oh, I'm sure she regarded it as a very great stepping stone in her career. She's on her way right now. Introduce a new independent for perfect styling wherever you are. The new Braun Independent 2000. No plugs or batteries. Just load it with the new cartridge system and switch it on. Heats up in seconds. The new Braun Independent 2000. All the style, all the freedom, all the time. Whisk automatic. concentrated liquid detergent which goes deep into your wash with the deep penetrating power to work through and through the fibers getting your clothes really clean returning them all to you cleaner and brighter whisk automatic deep cleaning power for all Good. It's about these flopsy bunnies who eat too much lettuce and fall asleep, and, and then Mr. McGregor comes and puts them into a sack. <laughs> oh, so he can make a pie. <laughs> Let that be a lesson too, Veronica. Enjoy that, are you? No, but we are desperate. Do you manage to wait, Veronica? Let me see, Mervyn. Can I have another black tea, please? What's it worth? 18 pence, I should think. I don't know why we're eating this rat hole. Because you fancy me rotten. Oh, I do, I do. God, it's that child again. Don't be horrible. Hi. Well, I wouldn't mind if she didn't keep asking me such stupid questions. Any luck? Oh. Well, it's bound to take a while, you know, to get established. It's just they keep telling me to call in and check. And when I do this, I go away again. Fancy a burger? Nah, just a coffee, please. I'm a bit hard up. The wife gets for me as this goes on. Oh, it's a yop, you know. Yeah? Yeah. We were foreigners. Pioneers. You know why, yes, without the yops. Well, my thumb, I'm afraid. I remember the day in the first interview they said, it's Pickleburger International or Slot Boy at the Quinton Abattoir. Aye. Uh, <laughs> I'll bring your coffee over, shall I? 
Hi. Hello. Hello. Can I sit with you? Of course. You've been buying up the shops, have you? No, I've been helping Mum's shop because she's got a bad leg. Oh, dear. How long do you think it's going to be before I get my first job? Well, that depends, doesn't it? On the sort of jobs you're prepared to do. It's nice. You know, Shanklin. We were Victor once with a boys' brigade. That's nice. Who's your photographer? Pete Manning. I don't think I know him. Oh, he's a great bloke, Pete. Can strip an engine in 20 minutes flat. I'll call him in, you can say hello. He works in your garage? Yeah. But glamour photography is his hobby. He's in a club. Oh, oh. Oh. Nothing. About the uh, fee you were proposing to pay, Mr. Seawood? 50 quid. 50 quid. And call me Len. It's in the agreement. 50 quid. Free set of box spanners and dinner with the lads afterwards. What? Well, it's not bad for having your photograph taken, is it? How about a hundred? A hundred? And uh, I know this photographer, Paul. He's very reasonable. Oi, oi. Hang on, hang on. I'm being ripped off. The lad said I'd be ripped off. Go near one of these model agencies, Len, and you'll have the shirt ripped off your back, they said. Seventy-five. And I'll forget the spanners and the dinner. Well, I'd have to think about that. Well, the lads was keen on the dinner. And uh, I'll have to know exactly what kind of pictures you had in mind. Well, round the garage, of course. Playing with the tools. You know. Oh, Pete had this great idea of a shop with you on our new hydraulic ramp. Topless. You'd? Nude. Well, there's no point in being coy these days, is there? for tacky nude photographs in his horrible little garage. You should never have been sent up for a job like that, Joe. You've had it now. He's in there complaining to Maggie. He's complaining? I think we're the ones to be complaining. Well, yes, of course. I'm just waiting to go and give her what for. Well, I thought you already had given her what for, Reg. Well, no, I was going to when that Conrad thug came barging in and Maggie said, go and wait outside, Reg, and I did. And ten minutes later, they both sailed past me and off to lunch. God, the way we're treated. It's no use. I'm going to have to do this job. No, Joe, you can't. If he'll go up to 70. Joe, you have not come down to this. I have, Sue. I have come down to this. If he'll go up to 70 and every one of those mechanics has to be out of there before I even take my coat off. Oh, Joe, no. Sue, 70 quid is 70 quid. Well, we all know what 70 quid is. They'll probably expect you to bonk them all afterwards for that much money. Well, Maggie's just got a big promotion stop and a film. Well, I won't get it, will I? Oh, Joanne, that is not the attitude. You certainly won't get it if you have that attitude. I won't get it because I'm black. Oh, come on. Black people do not get promotion work. I don't get promotion work. Promotion work is blonde hair, blue eyes and big smile. Uh, why is it Maggie doesn't like me? I thought it was your pop song. Maggie just doesn't like people. She doesn't like Reg because Reg is a woofter. Oh, she don't you oh, shut start. up. She doesn't like me because I speak two languages. She doesn't like Polly because Polly's... Well, because Polly's Polly, which is fair enough. Maggie just doesn't like people. Oh, I always thought oh, she, she likes you, me. Veronica. Everyone likes you, Veronica. Oh, well, there you go. That bit of lemon chop. They want you after all, Susan. Oh, you mean Mr. Torbler did come back? Yes, except he's been switched to talkie, and it's two days, not two weeks, and the snake's going to be stuffed. You're still on as a charmer, OK? Oh, my God. Margaret, I would like us to go to your office, if you don't mind. Yes, and so would I. I mean, I know I'm it's been sorry about, me, about Mr. Seward. If I'd known what he had in mind, I'd never have let you near him. I've told him none of my girls work for that sort of money under those sort of conditions. Well, that's what I thought, and if you've renegotiated... I kicked that... him out. What? I said to him, what do you think this place is, Len? A knocking shop? At those prices? Model of the carriage calendar who won't take her blouse off. <laughs> Shall I show you the ones I like? Yeah, go on, then. Ah, she's nice. That's Veronica. She's catwalking. She always has a nice smile. She doesn't mind about me being Mr. Pickleburger. Uh, that's the one I wanted. The one on the bar stool with the blue boa. Joanne. And the prices they charge. You wouldn't believe the prices they charge. How much? Hundred quid. Hundred quid? You're being ripped off. You could get Samantha Fox and a bearskin rug for that. In a perfect world, Merlin. In a perfect world. Conrad Sweet. Do we have a problem?
Oh, that bloody woman. How can Joe even think of it? Frolicking naked in front of a bunch of sex crazed car mechanics. Yes, but you do make it right, Sue. Nude Veronica, and it is slightly different. Well, I don't see the difference, actually. I mean, you both take your clothes off. All right, you take yours off in nice studios and on beaches, and Joe takes them off in garages, but you still end up naked. The difference, Veronica, is that I do quality nude work to sell quality goods. Our poor Joe has to sell calendars to sell spanners. Ah, <laughs> uh, that difference. Rupert wouldn't let me go topless, even if I could. <laughs> he doesn't even like me doing swimwear. Well, if a Rupert, why doesn't he marry you and take you away from all of this? I don't know. Because I haven't asked, I suppose. You don't have a boyfriend, do you? Nope. Did he like one? No. Why, have you got a spur? No, sorry, he... Susan? Veronica? Will Amanda have to go to this? Of course she will. Why else do you think they took the child on? Come on. Nobody thinks about how it is for me, sucking up to poncy Germans, touting round for heartless models, slaving to pay Conrad his interest. It's very kind of him to lend me the money, very kind. He'd have done a lot better with that car park in Bradford. Then where would we all be? He gave me my chance. He said, you go for it, Max, eat it up. Dreams, excitement, glamour. Well? It's just that I don't seem to be put up for the right sort of work anymore. Oh? I'm not saying you were wrong about the Yorkie bar. Good. I'm too young to be Captain Birdseye. And as for that man this Mitch, morning, will you I shut just... up? Now, I have just spent three hours with Mr. Cowan of Doolittle Films. And as a result of my hard labour, he is offering you, Reg, you, Joanne, and Sylvia, if she can drag our fat little body back from Benidorm in time, three days promotion work at a major exhibition. Promotion work? Me? Very glitzy, very glam, £65 a day plus expense. He's offering me promotion work? If they want me to wear a blazer, we'll have to talk about the cut. Maggie, this isn't some terrible mistake, is it? I'm not going to turn up and find it some awful mistake, am I? Navy blue is best, with simple gold I would buttons. like to say something, and I would like you both to remember it in future. Being a model is not easy. Running an agency is not easy. We're selling a dream, all of us. We're vulnerable, we're exposed, we're exploited. We're the butt of cruel jokes, got out by sex-crazed account executives, lunatic photographers, and feminists. But it doesn't do to be sour. It doesn't do to lose your faith in human nature. Mr. Cowan has specially selected you and you to promote his do-little films to the world. He's a saint. Man and a million. Conrad says the world is full of nice people. He says the only thing that keeps him going. people in the world. Yes. Mr. Cowan of Two Little Films isn't necessarily an unnice person. And it is 65 quid a day. Yeah, and all the lettuce we can eat. 